Alright, here we are with another Bad Donkey Gaming Battle Report. Today we have Sanger's Demon Hunters, by request from some people, versus Paul's Crimson Fists. We'll go through my army first. Right here I have eight Stormtroopers, double plasma gun. Here's an Inquisitor, plasma pistol, close combat weapon, hammer hand, three plasma guns, a Herophane, a Familiar, and a Mystic. And they're riding on a Chimera. The Calidus Assassin. A five man Stormtrooper squad. Double Melta guns. Land Raider Crusader. A Grandmaster and his buddies. One Incinerator. One Thunderhammer. And a Land Raider with ten Grey Knights. Double Psyche. Going over to the Crimson Fist. Alright, here's Paul's Crimson Fist. Paul takes three list. Alright, let's start out. I have a Thunderfire right here. Back here, I have a uh, tactical squad with a plasma cannon and plasma gun. Uh, and Sergeant has a power fist. Uh, same thing, plasma gun, plasma cannon. Another tactical squad with Sergeant with power fist. Uh, over here, a Devastator squad, four missile launchers. Sergeant doesn't have a power fist, but he has multi bombs. Um, first, our, first, the first squad of Stern Guard. Um, they have uh, double melta guns right there. Starts with the power fist and they're riding in the drop pod. Uh, second squad, stern guard, same build, two melta guns. Sergeant with the power fist, uh, but they will have uh, Pedro Cantor and uh, first time ever a librarian. He's going to have uh, null zone and vortex of doom, and they're all riding in the drop pod. And the last thing I have uh, is ironclad dreadnoughts. Pretty much pimped out as can be, and he's also dropping the drop on. All right, this is pre-deployment. Just a quick overview of the battle. We're playing uh, seize ground and pitch battle. Got an objective there, there, here in the middle, one here, and one here. And we'll pull back, and there's the battlefield. See you at deployment. Okay, we're in deployment here. Um, we got. This tackle squad broke up a little bit. The Thunderfire's back there. The Devastators combat squad. Mm -hmm. There's the four missiles. There's their five guys. And then this squad right here was initially up here, but with the word in his ear, he moved back towards the table edge there. Uh, the Grey Knight, Land Raider Crusader, Land Raider, Rhino, Chimera. And I've got my squad over here, really close to the objective, able to grab it. So we will see you in the middle of turn one, but I'm going to try to start the initiative real fast. Let's see. I did not roll five. All right, middle of turn one. Got the uh, ironclad dropping here. Shot the melted gun. Blew off the assault kit. Got the stern guard dropping here. They ran back and took the objective because Pedro. This squad moved up. The Debbies fired at the regular Land Raider. Did nothing. That squad moved up, and that combat squad moved up. This combat squad moved. No, they just that combat squad stayed there. We see in the bottom of turn one. Bottom of turn one, and multi melter from the Crusader hit the Dreadnought, and he immobilized him. And these guys shot the Ironclad and destroyed him. And then I shot the plasmas out from the squad here. Two of them and ended up blowing up the drop pod, which I fived it so it's wrecked. Uh, some other random firing. The storm bolter there shot clear over here and did two wounds, but then they saved. And the hurricane bolters off the land raider shot up there, but did nothing. And that's pretty much it. We'll see you in the middle of turn two. Alrighty, middle of turn two. And uh, Pedro and his boys didn't come in this turn. This squad moved up. Shot at the Chimera, did nothing. The Devastators shot four missiles at the Crusader, nothing happened there. However, the Tech Marine did shoot a trim around at the Crusader, so I will have to take dangerous terrain when I move. Um, these guys ran up, moved and ran up here. These guys moved and ran up here. Those guys stayed still, and so did those guys. The plasma cannons right now, fish winning, are pretty much out of the game because they can't really shoot anything. But we'll see what okay, happens next so turn. We'll see at the bottom of turn two. Bottom of two, a little bit of shooting, not a whole lot. 
the Land Raider. Shot the Thunder Fire back there, but it made both cover saves. This Land Raider shot the five man squad. Nothing. This squad and the Rhino shot here. They didn't do anything. But this squad shot here and killed five. Five. Five died from this squad here. I'm sorry, four. Five, five, you're right. yeah. So that's it. Uh, just a little bottom of turn two update. One objective. One objective. One. Ob oh, he doesn't have this one right now. One objective. So it's two to one. See it middle, middle of one or middle of three. Alrighty, middle of turn three. Uh, Pedro and his boys came in here, shot the melted guns here, did nothing. The Devastators shot their missiles here, did nothing. The Thunderfire over there shot here to this Land Raider and the trim around did hit it. These guys shot the Inquisitor squad with the Kraken round, the AP4 special round, and uh, managed to wound the Inquisitor and kill one guy because they only wounded twice. <laughs> but then this tactical squad, right there, those guys, shot their plasma cannon all the way over here and scattered <laughs> onto this squad and killed two. So you got sucks. So that's what happened this round. Yeah, so uh, hell, these guys ran up here. So we'll see you on the bottom of three. All right, bottom of turn three. We had a nice assault here. Um, Grandmaster and company came in there from the uh, Crusader and did uh, some considerable damage. Killed three guys here and wiped out this five man squad over here in Malta Assault. Uh, in return, Grandmaster took a wound and they lost one of their number. It made actually made two invulnerable saves, which is pretty impressive. Uh, the Stern Guard squad there died to plasma, lots of it. And. Okay. Back here, the Crusader killed their sergeant, and the regular Land Raider killed two guys. Okay. Killed two guys back there. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, we'll see you in the middle score. right. Middle of turn four. Um, first, the assault here got really bloody. The entire Stern Guard squad is gone. And one. Just the. <laughs> The Storm Shield failed the only invulnerable save they had to make. Pretty funny. Uh, the Rhino here took shooting from the Devastators and the Plasma Cannon and a Plasma Gun and is now immobile and without a gun, but still alive. Uh, and the Tech Marine shot the Crusader with a trimmer round, so for this turn, it's got to take dangerous terrain if I choose to move it. Uh, see it bottom four. Bottom of turn four, uh, the Great Knights actually got beat there. They hit three times, did two wounds to the librarian. Or no, I'm sorry, only did one wound to the librarian. They didn't do anything else. Uh, back here, yeah, the Calidus came in, killed some, and then died because she sucks. <laughs> uh, the Devastator got shot up by the Crusader. These guys got shot up by the Plasma Inquisitor. Uh, these guys killed the drop pod, blew it up real nice, and that's where we stand right now. Uh, it's actually two objectives, two, two objectives, going on to uh, turn five. All right, middle of five, Pedro wrapped up combat here. He took some wounds, but ended up killing the Grandmaster because he saved him. The librarian died. <laughs> uh, the Rhino got shot by that guy, blew up, killed three of the guys there, and a plasma cannon hit in there too. Those guys didn't do anything, and this guy over here assaulted the Land Raider, but failed to do anything. We'll see you at the bottom of five. Got the bottom of turn five. Pedro took all kinds of shooting, but he eventually died. This squad back here lost three to the Land Raider. This squad lost one to the Hurricane Bolters after taking, what was it, uh, 
hitting with 12 shots and wounding once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the plasma gunner shot at Pedro, did a wound. We just did not so matter. The Chimera shot at that squad, didn't do anything. And that's it. Paul's rolling to see if we go on. We do. It's a uh, middle of six. He attempted to charge the Green Knights. He was like a millimeter short. This guy shot a frag missile, didn't do anything, wounded twice, but I made both the saves. Because of shrouding, the plasma cannon was out of range. This guy shot the Inquisitor squad and did nothing. Shoot at the bottom of right. Bottom of turn six. The Grey Knights have consolidated up here, took that objective, and they have this one. Uh, they shot over here, killed those two guys. The Stormtrooper ran over here and took the uh, objective. Crusaders shot those guys off the top. And with the Machine Spirit, killed the dev Lone Devastator. And we're to one Lone Sergeant Paul roll for turn seven. It's over. Roll a five, still going. No. He didn't do anything. Well, I don't care. Uh, middle of seven, and he failed to assault. Uh, I'm just going to shoot at him right now. <laughs> Let's shoot the uh, pivot and play two ice cannons at him. Two misses. Two misses, all right. Heavy Volter. Two wounds. I see some armor safe. He no. is dead. Okay, that's the game. Uh, Sanger gets four objectives to Paul Zero.